everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and this week I am featuring the Above It All bundle from the Stampin' Up! mini catalog. Um, this is such a unique little bundle. I don't think we've ever had a stamp set that had a ski lift in it, um, and it's just really cute. I live in South Texas where there is no skiing and there's no snow, but I still adore this set and have actually um, used it quite a bit. So I think it's just fun, and uh, I... I I think everybody should get it, actually. Um, there are two ways to make the little gondola. Um, you can stamp it, which we're going to do on this card, but you can also paper piece it. And I have a couple of other videos and projects for you if you want to look for some more ideas on how to uh, make it a little bit differently. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to do our stamping first. Um, I am using Night of Navy as my card base, and then I'm using the Very Cute Designer Series paper. I like the, kind of the snowflake background. And I was thinking, you know, what color should I make my gondola um, that would pop off that navy? And Flirty Flamingo, of course. Now, <laughs> I don't know if there are actually any uh, pink ski lifts out there, but who cares, right? It's a card and it's cute. All right, so Flirty Flamingo on basic white. And then this little piece is the, you guys, I never know the terms for these things, but like the little hook that will hook into the thing that goes across. Basically, it holds the gondola to the wire. I know some of you who live in a ski area are gonna be like, oh my gosh, Erica, how do you not know? what that is called. <laughs> I honestly don't think I've ever even been on one. Goals. I gotta have some, some skiing goals, I guess. All right, I'm gonna use Night of Navy to stamp the Happy Holidays here on a basic white stylish shape uh, stitched banner. This is the third largest or the, maybe it's the second smallest, whichever way you're looking. All right, let's bring over um, my mini cut and emboss machine and we're gonna we're gonna put these on here with the dies, and where did I just set them down? Right here. We will put this one right there, and this one right here. Now, hopefully, I won't bump it. Um, notice that there's it, le it leaves a lot of white space right there. That's for to help you adhere it to the other piece. I'll show you in just a second. It's designed that way so don't think that your stamp and die or something's wrong with them all right there's our little gondola and so the little white part right there is where you're going to put your adhesive and i'm just going to use some liquid glue right here like that and we'll attach this right in the center. So see how that, the white part goes behind and then it looks like it's connected. Okay, so let's set that aside. Um, I've got several other pieces here. Oh, you know what? There's something we need to cut out as well. I'm gonna grab my white and cut it down because I realize that I do not have the right size. Um, this die set comes with this snow Piece, the snow you know looks like a snow drift and it's really long obviously it's longer than we are going to need it if you're doing your card like this it's even longer than you need it for that but it's going to give you some wiggle room to kind of play around with it and I really like this high edge up here so I'm going to cut it so that I'm for sure get that end like that um the this die also um Okay, come on. This die also embosses, which is really, really fun. Let me get this. If you ever have problems with your, well, now everything's falling apart, with your your um, plates going through, the suggestion is to make the ends of your plate like the letter E. See how the middle one is a little bit shorter? And voila, little trick. All right, so there is our snow piece. And I I know you, you can't see it on the video, but you can see it on the die. See how it's gonna emboss? It's giving you some texture on there. All right, so I have a Knight of Navy card base, and I have cut a piece of basic white that is four by five and a fourth. 
I'm going to put that on here. And then I've cut my DSP just a sliver smaller. So it is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. So it's just going to give us a very small frame around our designer series paper. All right, now I'm going to take a piece of vellum. And the reason I'm adding vellum is to kind of soften the background so that it's not so busy. Um, when you have a real busy background, sometimes it kind of distracts and makes the card a little wild. But if you layer a piece of vellum on there, then it softens it. And I'm going to put the, the adhesive at the bottom and just a little bit right there, uh, maybe up a little bit higher where the gondola will cover it. Most of the time, stamp and seal, you don't see it on vellum, but um, on darker paper, it tends to show. You may have a, an adhesive that's special, specially made for vellum. If you have that, you can use that as well. All right, now I'm gonna take the snow and go all the way across like that, and then trim that off. All right, and I'm just realized that I forgot to stamp the wire that goes across. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this in here like this for right now. All right. <laughs> I mean, hey, there's you can always figure out a way to fix things, guys. Um, now I'm using stays on, and I don't normally use stays on on a photopolymer stamp. It's very sticky and it dries really quickly, but for a slick type of paper, you wanna use uh, stays on so that it dries quickly and you're not gonna smear it, okay? The reason I put the grid paper in there is so that it wouldn't stamp on the edges of my card. All right, so now this little piece is like the wheels that go on the track that hold our gondola, our little, our little lift, our little, who knows? I don't know what the words, what you call it. All I call it is cute. All right, a couple of dimensionals and see I strategically put that adhesive there so that it would cover it up. And we'll put this right there. You wanna connect it to that. And then we'll get this guy, our sentiment. And put that right in there like that. And then I just felt like we needed a little bit more of something. So I've pulled out some sequins, some pink, pink sequins. Now I will have a supply list for this on my blog. It's a free PDF that I do for Facebook Friday. And this is one of our Facebook Friday projects this week. So make sure you grab it, it's free. You can save it, download it, print it, whatever you want. Um, and it'll have the measurements and the supply list in case you are wondering about any of the supplies that I used. Last but not least, we have a dark card base. So I always wanna put a piece of basic white inside my card base to write my message on. You can continue your stamping in here if you wanted. You could stamp the little gondola in here as well, um, but I'm just decided to leave it plain. All right, there you go, guys, a pretty simple card but super cute. I hope you enjoyed this project. Make sure you check out the other above it all projects that I have here on YouTube and over on my blog. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.